All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Mixer is gone. As of July 22nd, Mixer is officially gone. And let me give you a little bit of an introduction about myself. I am a full-time streamer on Mixer and they just took my platform away. So let's talk about the pros, the cons, why it was a good move, why it feels like betrayal, and what's gonna happen next. If you have any questions, my name is German Luke. Um, all my socials are down in the description. But let's talk about Mixer and Facebook Gaming. They just announced that next month, July 22nd, Mixer will no longer be online. You will now be redirected to Facebook Gaming. So what does this mean? For all the non-partners, for all of us that are basically just streamers on the platforms with no perks or benefits or whatsoever, um, we are screwed. We can go to Facebook and they say they will do something of kind of like an acceleration or if you already monetized on Mixer, you might be eligible to get monetized faster on Facebook, but this is all uncertain. On the other side, if you are a partner, you will be offered Facebook partnership. So with Facebook Gaming, they have a similar partnership with subscriptions and with monetization options on their streaming platform as well that you will automatically apply for. How certain or how the process exactly works is still not in the clear. If you are a partner, you have the right to apply and most likely get accepted into the partnership program of Facebook Gaming as well. If you are a partner, should you take the deal or not? And I think it is really hard to tell if it is a good move or not. Facebook has an insane reach and I am sure that there will be a lot of benefits to streaming on Facebook. I'm sure it's not as saturated, as crowded as Twitch is right now. And I think this is a decision that every partner has to make for themselves. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer what these people should or shouldn't do. My personal suggestion would be to go to Twitch. Go to Twitch, start over on Twitch. You already have an audience. Most of your audience has Amazon Prime accounts. They have Twitch accounts. You can bring them over to Twitch really easily. They're most likely watching other streamers on Twitch already. You will hit your affiliate, your partner on Twitch in no time. You will get your sub button, your ad revenue, you will get it back. And there is the potential for so much more. If you're not a partnered streamer and you're starting from scratch entirely like I will be doing now, you have three options. You can go to YouTube Gaming, you can go to Twitch, or you can go to Facebook Gaming. Let's start with Facebook Gaming. I'm sure there will be a lot of benefits that come with going to Facebook Gaming. I'm sure Facebook Gaming, with the technology and the resources they are obtaining from this merger, will do a lot of good. And I'm sure you have a fighting chance when you go to Facebook Gaming, because the reach now, you open up to such a larger scale than you had on Mixer. But I think you cannot simply go to Facebook Gaming stream and grind it out like you maybe did on Mixer. I think you need a proper strategy now to actually grow. Your second option, YouTube. YouTube Gaming, if you already have a YouTube Gaming channel, you might think of just going to the YouTube Gaming and do it all there. And there's nothing wrong with it, but there's a few things I would keep in mind. YouTube is still a video platform. It still favors video over live streaming a lot on the sense of how it promotes it, how it notifies people about it. Keep it in mind, on the other side, you are putting all of your baskets in one egg. You're putting all of your eggs in one basket, meaning if YouTube ever goes down, which is, I know, unlikely, second largest platform search engine backed up by Google, largest search engine, it is unlikely to go out of business. But if it ever does, it is all gone. Twitch is the last option. This is the option that I will pursue personally. Twitch is a proven concept that has worked that has been there for so long, most kings, bucks, whatever you want to call it, are figured out. If you go to Twitch, you need to go to Twitch with a strategy. You need a war plan. On Twitch, you will not make it by simply grinding out the stream. And if this is the end for your streaming career, I'm sorry. I'm, I feel for you, I, I really do. I feel sorry for my friends that are losing partnerships, that are losing what they have worked for for years. So I just want to say if you ever need someone to talk to, my socials are in the description below. But if you're going to Twitch, you need to go to Twitch with a strategy to win the war and you need to go hard, but you can do it. From a business perspective, um, it makes sense. The day was about to come, Mixer was just not cutting it anymore. 
and for Facebook Gaming to acquire Mixer is great. They are getting a few really big streamers that are bringing big audiences to Facebook and kickstart their gaming and their streaming software or platform. On the other side, they get all the technology of low latency streaming and whatsoever from Mixer. But do be careful, Mixer started with huge streamers, Ninja, Shroud, and they slept on it. They didn't make it, they didn't keep going from that boost that they got. So Facebook Gaming, you're getting this boost now from Mixer. Do something good with it. Don't repeat Mixer in 5-10 years and disappoint those people. Do something good with it. And to Mixer, they're out. To Mixer, it is a relatively clean out. They're cutting their losses and this is just a fair play. I hope you guys have a good day. If there's anything you guys need, let me know down in the DMs. Uh, I'm open to talk. I was streaming earlier and I just had to end it because I needed to digest it. We'll be fine. Let's talk in the comments.